Renowned for her significant contributions to the film industry, Moira Shearer's legacy endures as a symbol of timeless talent and enduring cinematic appeal. The question of which of her works resonates most personally invites reflection on a career marked by diverse accomplishments. Beyond individual preferences, Shearer's everlasting significance stems from the enduring qualities embedded in her performances. Her ability to seamlessly embody characters and evoke genuine emotion has left an indelible mark, making her a perennial figure in the industry's history. What sets Moira Shearer apart is not merely the roles she portrayed, but the nuanced way in which she brought each character to life. Her performances, marked by authenticity and depth, transcend temporal boundaries, cementing her status as a symbol of the industry's artistic prowess. She encapsulated the essence of storytelling in a manner that resonates across generations, making her work a perennial source of inspiration for aspiring actors and film enthusiasts alike. As we reflect on Moira Shearer's cinematic journey, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences connected to this classic Hollywood actor. Your stories contribute to the collective appreciation of her impact on the silver screen fostering a deeper understanding of her enduring influence. We look forward to hearing your narratives and memories in the comments below. Moira Shearer, a red-headed ballet star, catapulted to film fame with her iconic role in The Red Shoes, the only picture that defined her cinematic career. At the time of her selection for the film, she ranked second only to the world-renowned prima ballerina Margaret Fontaine at the prestigious Sadler's Wells Ballet. Following her success in The Red Shoes, Moira Shearer limited her film appearances, opting for a handful of other projects. However, her impact was lasting, and she continued to contribute to the world of dance in different ways. Notably, between 1977 and 1982, she toured the United States, delivering lectures on the history of ballet and the influential figure Sergei Diaghilev. Her journey from ballet stardom to film acclaim, coupled with her subsequent dedication to educating audiences about the art form, showcases Moira Shearer's multifaceted career. Despite making only a few films, her legacy extends beyond the screen, leaving an indelible mark on the world of dance and performance. Born to a family that moved to northern Rhodesia due to her father's civil engineering work, Moira Shearer's journey into the world of dance began at a young age. Encouraged by her mother, she took up dance lessons, setting the stage for a remarkable career that would later encompass ballet and film. She rose to prominence as a red-headed ballet star, achieving cinematic fame with her unforgettable role in The Red Shoes. Despite being initially ranked second only to the renowned Margaret Fontaine and the Sadler's Wells Ballet, Shearer's impact reached beyond her ballet roots. Notably, she stepped into the spotlight in 1948, replacing an ailing Fontaine in Frederick Ashton's Cinderella, a performance many regard as surpassing Fontaine's rendition. Beyond her accomplishments on stage and screen, Moira Shearer's personal life unfolded in parallel. Married to Ludovic Kennedy, the couple had four children, each born in different years, adding another layer to Shearer's multifaceted life. While her film appearances were limited, her contributions to the world of dance persisted. She toured the United States between 1977 and 1982, delivering lectures on ballet's history and the influential figure Sergei Diaghilev. This dedication showcased Shearer's commitment to educating audiences about the art form she held dear. From her beginnings in northern Rhodesia to gracing the stage in iconic ballet productions and leaving a lasting legacy, Moira Shearer's life and career reflect a remarkable journey of passion, talent, and family. Sister-in-law to Royce Wrighton, Moira Shearer, the red-headed ballet star turned film icon, made a mark beyond her renowned roles. Despite film offers from Arthur Freed and Gene Kelly, she favored the classical stage, portraying Titania in her Broadway debut and the lead in Major Barbara. Turning down opportunities opposite Fred Astaire, her dedication to the stage prevailed. In parallel, her personal life unfolded uniquely married to Ludovic Kennedy, their four children born in different years added layers to her multifaceted journey. Beyond the screen, Shearer's commitment to ballet education saw her touring the U.S. from 1977 to 1982, lecturing on its history, and Sergei Diaghilev. From rejecting film offers to her Broadway triumphs and unconventional family life, Moira Shearer's legacy echoes a remarkable journey of passion and talent. 
married in a regal ceremony at Hampton Court Palace, London, Moira Shearer united her life with Ludovic Kennedy in February 1950. This marked the beginning of a personal journey intertwined with a prolific career. Beyond her captivating roles on stage and screen, Shearer faced a challenging turn in 2000 when diagnosed with viral encephalitis, a condition affecting her memory. However, her resilience prevailed as she continued to contribute, serving as a member of the BBC General Advisory Council from 1970 to 1977. This dual commitment to both personal life and public service showcases the multifaceted nature of Moira Shearer's impactful journey. In her early 20 seconds, Moira Shearer, a relatively unknown figure at the time, caught the attention of director Michael Powell. Powell, impressed by her potential, offered her 1,000 for the lead role in The Red Shoes, a significant sum in those days. Surprisingly, Shearer held out for 5,000, a move Powell eventually conceded to. This marked the beginning of a collaboration that extended to two more films, The Tales of Hoffman and Peeping Tom. Despite the professional partnership, Shearer harbored little affection or respect for Powell, often expressing her disdain in interviews. Beyond her film career, Shearer transitioned to other roles, including a stint as a book reviewer for the Daily Journal. Her involvement in the Scottish Arts Council from 1971 to 1973 added another dimension to her multifaceted career. This lesser-known aspect of her life showcases Shearer's versatility beyond the stage and screen. Later in her career, facing the challenges of viral encephalitis in 2000, Shearer exhibited resilience. Notably, she served as a member of the BBC General Advisory Council from 1970 to 1977, contributing to public service despite personal setbacks. From her early negotiations with Powell to her diverse roles in the literary and arts community, Moira Shearer's journey remains a compelling narrative of determination and adaptability. Renowned as the principal dancer at Sadler's Wells, Moira Shearer's captivating journey transcended the confines of the stage, leaving an indelible mark on both the world of dance and the tapestry of her personal life. Beyond the ethereal realm of ballet, Shearer's narrative interwove seamlessly with Ludovic Kennedy, creating a unique and dynamic family unit that included a son and three daughters. The depth of Moira Shearer's impact becomes even more apparent when one gazes upon a striking portrait of the couple, a testament to their enduring connection. Crafted by the talented Israeli artist Avigdor Erika, this portrait now graces the halls of the Scottish National Portrait Gallery, solidifying its place in perpetuity as a representation of love, partnership, and the intertwining of artistic souls. Moira Shearer's transition from the grace and discipline of ballet to the intricacies of family life echoes in the corridors of time. Her legacy extends far beyond the footlights of the stage, resonating in various dimensions, from the eloquence of her movements to the warmth of her familial bonds. The portrait, a frozen moment in their shared history, serves as a poignant reminder of the richness that existed in the dance of life performed by Moira Shearer and Ludovic Kennedy. In this portrayal of a life well lived, the threads of art, family, and love converge to create a tapestry that captures the essence of Moira Shearer's existence, a tapestry now carefully preserved in the heart of the Scottish National Portrait Gallery, a timeless tribute to a remarkable journey. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the enchanting world of film and dance, let us take a moment to reflect on the indelible mark left by an artist whose grace transcended the silver screen and stage. As you navigate the corridors of memory, perhaps you find yourself entwined with the ethereal presence of a certain luminary, a figure whose every pirouette and every nuanced expression painted a tapestry of emotions, weaving an intricate connection between performer and spectator. Your personal connection with this luminous artist, whether forged through the cinematic masterpiece or the graceful dance floor, is a testament to the enduring impact of true talent. It's an invitation to unearth the treasured moments, the scenes that stirred your soul or the choreography that etched itself into the canvas of your memory. In the spirit of shared appreciation, we welcome you to share your reflections, your favorite scenes, or the profound emotions stirred by this extraordinary artist. Your voice adds resonance to the collective tribute to a talent that continues to resonate through the ages. As we bring the curtain down on this chapter, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your time and thoughtful consideration. 
The echoes of actress Moira Shearer's brilliance persist in the hearts of those who have been touched by her artistry, and your reflections contribute to the harmonious melody of remembrance. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and art, and for sharing your thoughts on an artist whose legacy remains as timeless as the stories she brought to life. Until we embark on our next adventure, keep the magic of cinema alive in your hearts.